Oh, welcome back. You're still locked in. It's your feel-good breakfast show, and it's game time. Ba -ba -ba. The best time. <laughs> yes. Now, of course, on Expresso Show, we start, we're starting out our Fortnite tournament this morning. Oh, it's so much excitement. But before we're jumping in, we're joined by the expert, Grant Heinz, and tell us about the do's and the don'ts and all the tips to get you further along and even possibly winning a battle royale. Oh. Grant Heinz, where do we begin oh. with this incredible game, man? What tips can you feed okay, us? So there, there's a lot of tips, yes, and yes, there are yes. a lot of people in South Africa that are really good at this game so I mean I, you can correct me if I'm wrong get onto social media tell us what you guys think yeah but uh, the first tip is make sure when you're playing any form of battle royale that you use the circle to your advantage okay. so for those of you who don't know what that means is that in a battle royale you play with 100 players and the map slowly starts to shrink as the game progresses whittling down the last players and uh, it's very dangerous to be on the outside <laughs> of the circle and very safe to be on the inside of the circle but you can use that to your advantage you know like a school of fish you okay. know that's with the, the, all oh, the, and they start to they start them to ball together. Like yes, that, yes, and yes. you have like the predators that go along the outskirts. Do the same thing. Okay. You got make sure that you're on the outskirts, picking off players that are coming into the circle. Oh, so find um, a nice vantage point, maybe close to the boundary, and then yeah, bang. You've got to, yeah it's not just about being uh, the. You, sometimes you might be a bad player, but those little tweaks yeah. will really help you out. So that's going to get you the difference from being killed by the map or by being killed by something else, rather. All right, and then uh, I see a lot of guys. I'm not that experienced in the game, but I see a lot of guys building these crazy structures in front of him <laughs> midway through like a battle and they're fighting someone. What's going on there? Why? So Fortnite is a very special game yeah. in that it's not just like, uh, you know, uh, blazing action all the time. One of the things that you can do is you can build like you do in Minecraft while you're in the midst of battle, okay. which is great. And it's a cool game mechanic because it helps you parry attacks. So you'll be in the middle of the field uh, getting sniped. And all of a sudden, you are able, instead of just being exposed and having to just like, okay, well, that was it. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. You can change the parameters of the battlefield by building around you so that, uh, you know, you can parry an attack. Um, and then also getting vantage points. So you might want to get a vantage point over your opponent and get your whole team around the okay, back. And I you're going to see you. a little bit of that when we're playing. But building is a huge part of Fortnite. And the better you are at building, the better you are at protecting yourself and getting a vantage over your opponent. And a nice life skill there in terms of multitasking. I think all us guys can learn a thing or two about that. <laughs> now listen, when it comes to, uh, I come from an old school background where I would just have like a rush mode. Anyone I see, I just spray and go crazy. Is that a good strategy if I'm like kind of just figuring this game out? Do I want to no. be the first to trigger or put more strategy in? No, no. I think when you engage in battle, one yeah. of the things that you really need to do is just know you're going to win. Like there's a hundred other people on the <laughs> battlefield and you can just go, oh look, there's somebody, I'm just going to, I'm going to shoot. But it, that doesn't really help. Make sure that when you engage in a battle that you know that you're going to win. You have a look around you. Just because you see people in front of you doesn't mean there's going to be nobody behind you. Okay. The minute you start uh, engaging in a fight, people will hear it from around. Like, you, know, you, you know, people can hear it and they can turn around and go, like, wait, over that hill there's, there's some action. Let's okay, go. so you can hear everything going on in the map as well. Exactly. Oh, epic, so you've got, to be, you've got to be strategic in the way you approach. It's not just like the old days where you just saw my, you know, go. <laughs> and then what's the deal with the guys that are just running around the map, not even playing or not even engaging in war and they just just like picking random things up and collecting. What's that all about? Is that a different game on okay. the side? No, no, no. So in order to build, you actually need to have materials to build, okay. like you do in, for, uh, uh, in um, Minecraft. You've got okay, to like, of basically yes, yes, mine yes. That, uh, those minerals from around the world. So you need to loot. But a lot of people get caught into the trap of looting too much. Once you've got your weapons and once you've got your, uh, your, your materials, the right amount, you can actually loot off the enemies okay. that you've eliminated. Okay. So rather do that in many ways than and just go around and digging around the map because you're then exposed. You don't have your, your weapon assigned as your main weapon. And uh, yeah, you just running around like Father Christmas with all the yeah, goodies. Yeah, <laughs> and, the goodies yeah, and, then, and then guess what? Everybody wants those goodies. <laughs> so then it becomes a problem. So you become bait then. All right, so talk to me more about the tournament that's happening now. Like, what sort of tips can we have when it comes to is it elimination? Do we need yeah. to just survive? Is it rack up? So tools? what we're doing here is a little bit different to what you do at home. So traditionally, with a battle royale, it's about making sure that you survive, right? So uh, this is more about how many eliminations you get. So we're going to be playing on Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 7, till 9, 9 a.m. Okay. So it's a good two-hour window. Uh, and uh, the, um, the most eliminations that we get as a team over that time period okay. is the winner. We're going to be right. putting up a leaderboard. Uh, we're going to have people enter on social media. So if you think that you've got what it takes in Fortnite, make sure that you hit us up on socials. 
Um, so it's a different strategy uh, compared to uh, just winning. You know, you just might want to go like and gunning and going crazy. It's yeah. about your elimination okay. total score. So right. you might go like, cool, we've got what we think we can get. We've got to rush harder to make sure that we're not wasting time because wasting time like looting and doing a whole bunch of stuff is all oh, that two hour window is not going to help you so at the end. Best so you, you want to be Express's best. <laughs> you've got to make sure that you are running and making sure that you are taking advantage uh, of those opponents. Oh, I absolutely love it. You're getting everybody excited. I know I sure certainly am. And of course, we're going to get a lot more of this action coming up later in the show. But we're moving on to Gareth Woods, who's got some Fortnite speakers to review this morning. And then later on, the gaming shall begin. Stick around. <laughs>